Can we cook Earth with the new 1 million megawatt laser? Let's find out. Hello, everybody. I'm Kyle Kid. Welcome back to Solar Smash. We have a new update, and this is part of it. I think this is the UFO mothership equipped with a mega laser. Let's check out all the cool new stuff. First things first. So this is one of the new weapons. It's a mine. That's interesting. It's listed as a defensive item. So, oh, you see? Okay. So they're like orbiting mines. I understand. And then when you get invaded, which inevitably is going to happen, the aliens are coming. Or perhaps space worms. Just depends on what kind of terrible space invasion is on the docket for that day. But when they come, they will crash into the mines. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna place a whole bunch of mines all over the earth. Well, I'm just gonna place them over here because this is where I'm going to send the attack. That's one of the cool things about deploying your own invasion of earth. Uh, you get to choose where it goes, which is kind of messed up because I'm the one setting up the defenses and sending the attack. Sorry, Earth. Okay, what are we sending? We have a new remnant battleship. What's remnant? That, oh my gosh, that was cool. It teleports in. Oh, oh. Holy cow. Those mines are crazy. However, not crazy enough to stop the remnant battleship from uh, from basically doing an artillery bombardment on, you know, Central America. My goodness. Okay. All right. And then you just zip out of there like nothing. What a bully. That was awesome. That was so cool. Let's place one right here. See if the mines get it. If they get close enough. Yeah, they... they they home in. Oh, not quite enough, though. Not quite enough. You couldn't, you couldn't. Y yeah, we took out the uh, the force field that was around the battleship, but uh, didn't quite take out the battleship itself. Bummer. Oh, and then the mine decides to join the party like 10 minutes too late. It's The, the destruction has already happened, and then he's going to whoop. Hyperdrive out of there. That is so cool. Apparently, there's also a new Titan fighter. Is that this? I feel like these guys were in here before. Maybe I'm wrong. Actually, actually, all of these seem new. What are... Whoa, whoa! All right, okay. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that one kind of like zipping and zooping? He was not having a great day. Okay, let's send the green ones this way. Yo, that is so cool. They're all unique in like the kind of weapons that they fire. Also, I have no idea what did that. What did that on the side? I'm gonna need an instant replay on that one. I have no idea what caused that crater on the left side of Earth. Okay, let's drop these guys in. Holy cow, okay. That's very cool. Oh man. They are doing some significant damage before they get blown up by the mines, but the mines, they're doing good work. Look at the weather patterns. Oh my gosh. It's totally messing up the weather on Earth. Look at this weird looking bubble that it's created for the like jet stream. I can't even imagine what that's doing to the weather patterns in this area. Probably a little warm in uh, the middle of Mexico, the, the south of Texas, I would suggest. The tip of Florida, unseasonably warm, I would say. Okay, let's try the purple guys. I'm gonna launch you guys up here. Whoa, oh my gosh, they shoot lightning. That is crazy. They are doing so much damage. I, I really wanna send like multiple fleets of these guys. They are so cool looking. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. It's like, uh, you ever play with one of those, uh, th those, those orbs that have, like, the electricity inside of them? I, I forget what they're called, but you, like, touch the glass and the lightning, like, goes to your fingers. It's like that, but without the glass. Okay, but also we have new planets to destroy. I kind of want to see what happens when we 
send an artillery of battleships to blow up the sun. Can can we do this? Where are they? They're really taking their time, huh? They're not the fastest uh, moving ships, but but they do damage. So that's what matters. Man, that is crazy. That is a massive space battleship, and it just looks like an ant in front of the sun. Like, it's taking them so long just to get to the point where they can line up their shots. But I'm wondering if the sun gives off enough heat that they can't get that close and and maybe they'll get nuked before they can blow up the sun. Oh, they're turning. Okay. They're preparing. Oh, they're going. Okay, so they're definitely fine. They are okay. But I have to say, it seems like the sun is kind of doing okay too. Admittedly, I didn't fire as many as I could have. I could probably send a lot more. And I probably should. I love the way they zip out. See ya. Okay, let's see how many it takes to to actually destroy the sun. So I'm going into fast motion. And actually, I should zoom in on the sun. So that they, they teleport closer to the sun. The closer that I am to the sun. Oh, here they go. They're making stuff happen. Oh boy. Alright, they're getting right into it. Skip to the good part. It would be good for them, bad for us, being that, you know, our sun is kind of like the only way that we're able to sustain life on our planet. But, you know, whatever. We'll find a new one or something. So far, the sun is kind of... kind of being... being a, a... a chad. Like, it's not really being affected by a full-on assassination attempt from some kind of distant humanoid alien. I assume they're humanoid. But maybe they're just different humans. Whoa. There's so many. I have spawned a staggering amount of these things. And I don't think the sun is going to be feeling too good for, for much longer. They are doing work. The sun's holding up. I mean, look, it, technically, I'm looking at the percentage on the left side of the screen. All of that and these these battleships have only done 3%, I guess, like damage. I don't think these guys can can kill our sun. That's great. That and that, and that you know, honestly, that's very reassuring to me. What about lightning guys? Let's get some lightning boys in here. Oh, they're okay. They're getting right to the action. They're definitely doing some 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 damage. But I mean, all things considered, I'm launching like a thousand of these things and they've only done what? 3% to the overall health of the sun. And we're in fast motion right now. Oh my gosh. Our sun is is stacked, dude. Greatest tank ever. I wonder if the other ships will do more damage. I'm very interested to see if there's actually a difference between the... Oh, whoa, okay, I got an achievement, thank you. I actually... It doesn't seem like these guys are doing more damage than the electricity guy. So let's, let's get some of the green boys. Oh my goodness. They're doing nothing to the sun. Look at that, it's been sitting at 89%, it's still going. They're like flies. The sun's just like... Get out of here. You're annoying. So I think that clearly shows that there is a difference between the actual, like, weapon power of these different fighters, which is super cool. These guys are doing nothing. And then there's the default, the red boys. And I suspect they're not really going to do that much damage either. Yeah, it seems like the key to destroying the sun is a very concentrated damage blast as opposed to lots of little blasts and the best guy for that job at least as far as the fighters go is the lightning boys scientifically proven now what about the alien orbital cannon that's gonna do a number yeah yeah that thing's too powerful so neptune has been in the game but this is neptune traditional now what does that mean well it looks a little bit different it also is bigger, from what I can tell, 
Does that mean that it's stronger though? There's only one way to find out, and that's through the power of rainbows. Oh my gosh, it's the rainbow laser. Okay, I'm trying to cut. Oh, look at the rings. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That is such a weird sort of thing that it does to the rings. I wonder if that's really what would happen. That is the most powerful laser in the game, bar none. And I don't think I've actually used it on Earth. So we'll come back to that. Neptune, you've done a great job, but come back, please. I have more for you. I have nanites. What are nanites, you ask? Those are nanites, I guess. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're about to find out what happens when you send a, a bajillion nanites at Neptune. They're, they're kind of not doing anything, to be honest with you. I mean, look at the, the percentage. I think the same principle kind of applies um, to Neptune that applies to the sun because they're both technically made of gas, mostly gas, but it feels like if you want to destroy gas, planets, stars, whatever they may be, you really have to hit them with a highly concentrated beam as opposed to bajillions of little ones. The nanites just don't cut it. They did nothing to Neptune. How are we going to destroy Neptune? I mean, we used a rainbow laser. We need highly concentrated beams of death. All right. How about a mothership? Oh my gosh. This thing is awesome looking. Holy cow. The way it teleported in was terrifying. Okay. It's a starfish of death. Is it going full independence day? It is. Holy cow, that thing was awesome. I mean, let's give it up for Neptune. Like, great job withstanding that. I have a feeling Earth would do far worse than Neptune in that situation. We'll find out here in a minute. Now, what is the other mothership? The other mother ship? What are you? It's like you, you spawn little ships. What would you say your job is here? Can you... Can you explain that to me. I like how the mothership kind of messed up the, the ring around Neptune. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What are they doing, though? They're just flying around. Okay, this is giving me full-on Independence Day vibes. What are these aliens doing? They're just flying around like dummies. They're not, they're not scary like the Independence Day aliens. They're almost crashing into each other. There is one more new planet that we have to check out. Here it is. Avalon Orbital Ring. So Avalon was a city planet that I think they added in the last update. This adds the orbital ring, which is a defense mechanism for the planet. Let's see how it handles the invasion of the, the mothership aliens. What would they, what would you call them? I don't know. Let's see what happens if we do this. Okay, okay. The defensive ring is definitely on the attack. It's defending. Oh, but the mothership shoots back. Look at that. It took out one of the cannons. Okay, so they're going to drop the uh, the little aliens. Oh, no. They're getting blasted before they can get out. No. Insta-death. All right. That's, that's not ideal. And they killed the mothership. Very impressive, Avalon. However, I have something for you. Another mothership. But this time with a massive million gigawatt laser beam attached to the bottom of it. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. The starfish of death has lined up its shot. Can it can it get the shot before it blows up though? No! <laughs> you just saved your butts, Avalon. Like so hard. We have to get a, a shot from the mothership into Avalon, see what the damage is. It's gonna be tricky though, because those lasers can shoot a lot further than the mothership can shoot back at them. And it takes so long for this thing to charge up its shot. Dude, come on! Come on! You're almost there! There it is! Fire! Ooh! Blasted a hole straight through the edge of the planet. Yet, nobody died. Wait, for real? How'd that work? All right, now that we've uh, we've kind of 
destroyed most of the ring. Let's launch a proper invasion. Because that's how the aliens would do it, right? They just send like a few ships just to test the waters. And then they're like, all right, I think we got this. And then they send the armada. Okay, I really want to see what these little ships are going to do. Okay, they're getting in there. They're really just flying around. What is going on here? There's like space rock flying inside of... Oh, whoa! Wait, what is that? Oh, what? Yeah, okay. The, the little UFOs, I think, from what I can tell, they're doing one shot that kind of just goes out and like scorches the planet and then they zip out of there. Yeah. They zip out. Okay. Okay. Is there nobody living on Avalon? Is that why nobody died? Yeah. Okay. I understand now. Apparently, Avalon has been abandoned. Understandably. They knew that invasion was coming. All right. Let's properly destroy this thing. I wonder if it's possible for one mothership to shoot another mothership from the opposite side of the planet. Like, if I put one at the very top, and I put one at the very bottom, will the one at the top, because I spawned the one at the top first, will it blow up the one at the bottom? Oh my gosh. Okay. We might actually do that on accident here. Okay, the top one is, is charging up. Here it goes. Oh! It, oh, did it miss? It may have missed. My bad. Ah, sweet, sweet Earth. Our home. Such a lovely planet. Send in the nanites. I want to see what these guys do. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Holy cow. Oh, the population is dropping so fast. Oh, that is terrifying. Oh, no. Oh. My home has been nanited. Do we have nanite exterminators anywhere? No, probably not. What even is a nanite? Nobody really knows. Okay, what areas are unscathed? I mean, there's only a billion people left. Where are they? Oh, the southern tip of Africa? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna add up. Oh, almost all of Europe. Well, a big chunk of Europe. No, they're, they're getting roasted. Okay, we've got, like, the, the South Pacific. Yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh. It's, like, the deadliest version of popcorn. Do you hear it just popping? Okay, okay. We got a little bit more up there. I mean, there can't be anybody up here, right? Well... Just to make sure, let's send out the nanites. Oh, there's probably some islands, right? Oh my gosh. What am I looking at? I can't even see. It's too dark. It's definitely doing something. Yeah. Yeah. They are just scorching the earth. Okay, there you go. Anything left? Somehow there's 82 million people still living. Okay, 79. It's definitely shrinking quickly. Could you imagine just being completely surrounded by scorched earth? Wondering when the nanites are coming for you? That's horrifying. I'm so sorry, earth. Am I? Because I, I kind of keep going. Maybe I'm not as sorry as I thought. I might actually be a supervillain. Go figure. There's still 73 million people living on Earth somewhere. And I am genuinely impressed. Because that does not look like a fun place to live. My goodness. Oh, no. We, we hit a pretty big pocket there. We're down to 17 million. 15. The nanites have done some serious work. Where are the last 15 million? Find them, nanites. Find them. Oh, only five. Only four, three. Oh no. We've done no damage to the earth itself. Just its population. Feels bad, man. Where are they? Are you serious? Maybe like the very Southern pole? 
seems pretty cold down there, but I guess, you know, if the rest of your planet is literally molten earth magma, maybe Antarctica is a lot nicer than it used to be. I can't find these last three million. Oh, what was that? That was just a random explosion, it feels like. Earth is not feeling too good today. Oh, okay, we got him. No, please, please, hold your applause. I know, I know. It's quite impressive. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Mothership, let's do this. This is gonna be the, the spawning ones. So I've launched, what, six? Six of them, and they will release the little baby ships. And then let's see what kind of havoc these baby ships do. And how quickly. Oh, UFO shot down by Mas Moscow. Congratulations, Moscow. You uh, fought off the invasion for 3.2 seconds. Uh, I don't think it's going to last. Oh my gosh, look at the population. Is that enough to wipe out everything? We'll see. We'll see. We're down to 3 billion, so we're definitely under the halfway point. No, you know... All things considered, we as humans did pretty good in that invasion. The aliens could have done better. Joke's on you, aliens. There's still three billion people alive, dummies. Oh, no. Don't mock them. No, why are, why are you mocking them? They're coming back. What have you done? Why did you do this? We were good. Everything was fine. They're sending more. Why? Why? Oh, that's a lot. Oh, gosh. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, that's not gonna end well. That's gonna be a lot of small spacecraft just kind of doing their thing. Yeah. Watch the population dwindle. Will anybody be left after this campaign? Oh, it's getting low, we're under a billion. Okay. Okay. Oh no, no. I thought I thought they were holding out. Wait. Oh, it's still dropping. Ooh. Oh no. Oh. 4 million. Hang in there, guys. No. 2 million. You can you can make it. The last 2 million people. Are they the remnant? Holy cow. <gasps> there they are. All two million of them. Right there. They're nice and cozy. They're totally fine. Nothing will hurt them. Except for a laser dog. Yeah. Okay. I hate it when that happens. Also, bat dog. <laughs> Just so stupid. Yeah, I made like a Mike from the monsters. Round monster with one eye. I just want to see what happens with one for now. Let's let's just launch one. Oh, look! The U.S. is fighting back with two missiles. It's all they got. It's very sad. The aliens are just laughing right now. They are just cracking up. Let's see. All right, that wiped out two billion, almost three billion people in one shot. Went straight through the heart of USA, and then, yeah, okay, popped out through, uh, is that, is that China? I think it is. Okay. You definitely hit some, uh, some population dense areas with just that one. Let's just get a nice fresh earth and then do what we do best. Launch a full scale invasion of alien motherships that will launch giant lasers into the heart of our lovely planet should be totally fine for the aliens definitely not for us we're super dead just embrace that be like the girl in independence day when she was on the top of the the bank the u.s bank building in la she's looked up was like take me and then they <laughs> vaporized her in a second that's what we're all doing right now how are we looking Hey, there's still 2 billion people alive. Good for them. Oh, no. It's the cleanup crew. Oh, that charge up. 
<laughs> oh no! How are we looking? Are we okay? Are we good? Something tells me we're not good. So that thing doesn't actually blow up the planet from the inside out? Is it only this one that blows up planets from inside out? Right? Because this one- Yeah. 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 Planet smashed! Wait, what is this? Orbital station? I do believe this is new. What does it do? Oh, it gets in. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Let's spawn more of those. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, are they... Are they using different kinds of weapons? Or no, those missiles are coming from Earth, I think. To try and defend Earth. They're not, they're not doing too much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, it turns out orbital stations. Pretty good time for, um, for destroying planets. Not for the planet that is being destroyed. You hear that sound? Doof, 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 doof. They're so aggressive. Do they ever leave? Or do they literally just orbit forever? Oh no, they do shoot these missiles. Right? Or those are like spaceships? Yeah, okay. So they're they're orbiting the planet and then while they're doing that, they're launching ships like fighter ships from the stations. There's still 2 million people hanging on. 1 million just desperately fighting for their lives. Nobody can find them. They've gone underground. Oh, the orbital stations do leave. They teleport out. Did I find them? I didn't. I didn't find the last million. Yeah, see, they're zipping out of there. Well, good for you, last million people living on Earth. You survived. What do you get? What's your prize? Well, you get to live on a massive scorched planet made of liquid magma. Yay! <laughs> okay, and then, of course, with the power of rainbows. Holy moly. That is crazy. Um, yeah, that, that definitely cut through Earth very quickly. Oh my gosh. Rainbow lasers. Let's leave those just to video games. I, I don't, I'm not ready for rainbow lasers in real life. 